Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now that we've gone to Hyrule Castle and met up with Princess Zelda, let's go to Kakariko to see what we can do there. And maybe head up Death Mountain, but I, it's it's gonna... It's gonna depend on a few things, since there's a couple of things that I'm also gonna need to do in other places still. So... But anyway... Kakariko Village, Death Mountain Trail starting point. So let's head on in. Kakariko Village. Ding dong, ding dong! I'm a clock soldier of Kakariko. The current time is 15.29. It's about 3.30. Hello there, son. Zelda's attendant, the great Impa, opened this village to the common people. We have only a small population now. But someday this place will be as lively as Hyrule Castle Town. Oh yes, it... it... Ah, it will. Climb up the stairs at the north end of the village to find the trail that leads up Death Mountain. But you need the king's permission to actually go up the mountain. Well, that's a shame. It's a good, good thing we've got Zelda's autograph because that might help us. Uh, now... Let me look at a few things real quick, since we have obviously a few places on the map visible now. We also have five sculptures, and we can also see Zelda's lullaby here to show us how to do it. We can press A to play and see how it's supposed to sound. But it also shows the notes underneath it there already. So actually, I believe if we do that again, I think you can actually play it here to actually test and like use the alignment to play it like that, yeah. Uh, but also over here is the Kukiri Emerald to show that we have that. The bullet bag is now the bigger version and that is everything I believe so let me quickly uh, get that out and probably save because it's been a little bit. But anyway let's take a look around town. Although I think I might do a few, uh, I might just do something up here real quick. So there's a quite a few things we can already do in Kakariko starting off. And I'm probably going to do a lot of them before we head up Death Mountain, so... But the first thing I want to do is actually go talk to this guard here. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Eh? Oh, I see. You're just a kid. And you can't read yet. Ha ha ha! Death Mountain, no passage without a royal decree. Well, let's hold out the Zelda's autograph. Zelda's letter. Oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to serve... Or save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with this... With now? Okay, okay, alright. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> So there we go. Now that path is open. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it. Just because of the, of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the happy mask shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but, well, I have no choice. This is my job. <sighs> well, there we go. We have a path up the mountain now. Uh, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to do a few other things first. 
Mainly, we're gonna get something we're not supposed to get until way later in the game. And that is by climbing up here. All the way to the top of this. I don't know what this is, other than I guess a watchtower. But then, I don't know why, why, I just don't know why. Guess I don't, don't need a reason. A couple of butterflies, but if we're holding Z and moving to the left and then jump, don't touch anything else, and we should land directly on this little thing here. Which actually allows us to climb up onto this roof, which we're not supposed to be able to do until way later in the game. And we're gonna talk to this guy. Hey. Good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. And he gives us a piece of heart. Collect four pieces total to get another heart container. More containers mean more life energy. So there we go. <laughs> We're not supposed to get this piece of heart until way later. To get a good view, use uh, C up to look around with the left stick. Or regular control stick, depending on what you're playing on. But anyway, let's see what else we can do. What should I do? My cuckoos have all flown away. You little boy, please. Please help me bring them back to this pen. Okay, I'll do that then. It's gonna take us a little bit to get all of these, but that's okay. Just need to collect them all and get them back to the pen. Ah, uh, but still, it's gonna take me a little bit to get them all. And get back here if we uh, use the cuckoo to fly across because whenever we jump off of something or carrying one, we fly for a little bit. Uh, but also down here is actually a hole that we can go into to get into a grotto. The first of many grottos. Grottos usually have a gossip stone, uh, a fish in the water, and uh, bugs just in the things, the plants. There's also a couple of other things in here, uh, like... I'm gonna equip that to that, I think. Uh, these little hive things up here that we can shoot with the... Oh, we can't shoot them. I thought I could, anyway. Well, anyway. Get a 20 rupee from this chest. Kind of a waste, but that's okay. We will need the, the rupees, so... Anyway, just step on that platform to get launched out somehow. By magic. And let's get back to the job at hand of getting these cuckoos. There's one in here, but there's also one up here that we need to get, so let's do that. Hello, Mr. Cuckoo. Let me grab you, please. Thank you. I'm going to go around the edge of the windmill. It's cool that we can be back here. Oh, I wonder. I just wanted something and I don't think it's possible, but anyway. Let's just land right on the edge. No, we actually landed in here. Let's drop that down there. I think if you also hold, whenever you're holding uh, a cuckoo and you press the shield button, you will also draw, drop the cuckoo. Now, this next one is interesting because I use, I like, for my childhood, I, there was always one way I would do it, but there's two, two ways we can do it. The first way is to have a cuckoo and jump down here to do that. Or if we go around, hang on, I should probably put that one in the pen. Or if we go around in the back here and either use a uh, slingshot bullet or a deku nut. We actually scare it off the edge, which is interesting because if you attack too many cuckoos, bad things will happen to you. Which I might show, but not immediately. I'm gonna get all these cuckoos away first, and then show what happens. And there's quite a few of these to go still, so. The cuckoos are many. It makes four. I think there are seven or eight. I can't remember exactly. There's just quite a few. Nope, that's not what I'm trying to press. What would Saria say if we told her we're going to save Hyrule? I don't know. What would Saria say? Also, if I roll into this tree, get a little bit of 
seeds. This wasn't was, wasn't what I was trying to get, but that's fine. Ah, uh, a C stick is difficult to figure out at the moment, but mostly because of this controller being weird. Maybe it is just seven. Guess it is. Unless I'm not remembering what one of the cuckoos is. But we've almost got all of them. Just need to roll into this box over here. And this one's also a weird one because it doesn't move straight away. And we have to actually have it move by walking into it. So that it can be a regular cuckoo so we can pick it up. Let's grab that. Okay. And then I think it's just one more. And then we'll be good. Okay. Don't think there's anything there. But there should be a cuckoo up here somewhere. A cuckoo. I don't know what they actually... How to actually pronounce their name, but anyway. I think there was something... I remember hearing an actual pronunciation, but I can't remember what, what that was. Anyway, let's just throw this one in there, and that's all of them. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get coos bumps when I touch them. So why are you a cuckoo farmer? For helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass, and it and should be useful. Please take good care of it. And for that, we get an empty bottle. After you put something in the bottle, set it to see when you have want to use the item inside. So there we go. Anything else you want to say? Please, don't tease my cuckoos. Oh, I will tease the cuckoos. Just let me at them. Just let me at them. And if you hit them too much, the cry for help comes, and now we're gonna die because there is so many cuckoos everywhere coming from every direction. Ah! And we need to get off screen into a different area, please. Oh no! Oh no! God, they're doing one heat. They do one heart of damage each. Oh my goodness. I think they also just go away after a little bit anyway. Oh, well, get out. Good. Okay, we're good. It's gonna return to normal now. But anyway, this is the graveyard. Just wanted to come here for a little bit. I believe if we pick up this rock, there are some bugs underneath it. Please give me hearts. Please give me hearts. Okay, there we go. If you need something, the game will generally give it to you, so. Heart pounding grave digging tour from 8 to 21. Hyrule time. Dumpe the gravekeeper. 18 to 21. Rest in peace. Here lie the souls of those who swore fel uh, fealty to the royal family of Hyrule. The Sheikah guardians of the royal family and founders of Kakariku watch over these spirits in their eternal slumber. Little kids can't go on the heart pounding uh, grave digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just Imitating Dumpe, the gravekeeper, all day. But with my cute face, I'm not a la not heart pounding at all, am I? But anyway, while he's here in the daytime. Don't cause trouble, or I'll tell uh, I'll tell Dumpe. So he doesn't allow us to do anything here, basically. Uh, but we can still do one thing while we're here. So And he can't stop us, so. Uh but anyway. Let's check this. The crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. Royal family's tomb. Well, let's get out the ocarina. Let's play Zelda's lullaby.
Okay, the grave explodes and we can go down into this hole. Okay, let's get out the slingshot again because it's going to be helpful. Because we have some keys in here. When you get close to it, use Z targeting. Even if it flies away, you can still target it. So we can take out these keys fairly easily. They're just a little bit annoying at times, so. But we need to kill all these so we can actually do what we need to do here. Targeting is actually making this very easy. So let's keep doing that. They can fly around, but I'm getting I'm not getting close enough to activate them so that they fly around. But anyway, that's all that. Let's head up this way into this door. Also, this text is pretty cool. On these walls and all that. Okay, in here though, we have some re-deads. Which, if we get too close to them, they'll scream at us, making us freeze. And if they get too close, they'll actually grab us and we'll be in trouble because they'll do damage to us, so... Oh boy, he's gonna grab me. And they do damage fast, so we need to not let them kill us, please. Uh, but also, if we stand in this group stuff, we also take damage from that, so we need to not step in the group. Usually I don't care about it and just walk through, but I'm just gonna avoid it as much as possible now that I've explained what that is, so... Anyway, at the end here... Let's examine this. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the royal, uh, of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Keep the sun's song in your heart. You've learned the sun song. Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with a sun song. So there we go. Now we can change from day to night and night to day by using the sun song. We can also, if I bring out my ocarina again, I need to just equip that to that button, I guess. If we play it again, If we play it when there are re-deads nearby... They'll freeze for a, an amount of time. Not all the time, but just a little... They'll just be stunned for a, l a little while, so... And if you attack them, they'll become unstunned. But it means we can just walk past them now, and not have to worry about them. Anyway, let's get out of here. Now, while it is night time here, it's actually Dompe out now that it's after, in the, it's in the right hours for it. So let's do the grave digging tour, which can be a little bit, a little bit stuff, a little bit much. Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you a nut, uh, an adver advertisement for my side business. Dumpe the Gravekeeper's Heart Pounding Grave Digging Tour. That's a lot of words. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want me to dig here? Ten rupees for one hole. Yes, please. Nope, nothing here. Oh my goodness. So randomly, I believe you have to be on probably one of the dirt patches for him to dig. But randomly... He will dig up stuff, usually a rupee or maybe a good good one or bad one. But randomly, he'll give us an actual reward for this, which is going to take a little bit. Sorry. Just have to wait a lot. Which is unfortunate, but if it's 10 rupees per hole, I only have up to 7 or 99 rupees. I need to careful how many I spend, probably. Come on. 
keep just keep walking. Just keep walking. Is this close enough? Let me get a little bit closer here. Okay, now. Yes, I want you to dig here. A red rupee, okay. Let's go to the next hole and see if that's gonna be right. Hopefully, I'll try rupees because that means I get my money from the previous attempt back, I guess. Okay. Dig here, please. What was that? Is that red? Green, green rupee. Green rupee! A little bit of money back. This is a very slow process. But it's worth it, so. Okay, please dig here. Nothing. Dig here. And we get a piece of heart. Oh my goodness. So there we go. Anytime we get a piece of heart, we also get our health recovery back, so that's also good. Now, if I'm not crazy, I believe there is one grave that has a couple of flowers in front of it. I don't think there is a second one. I might be wrong about that, but it's fine. Uh, but before we do that, I want to head back up this way and look at these two other tombstones, which look a little bit different from the rest. Royal Composer Bros. Flat the Younger, rest in peace. And Flat the Younger appears. So we probably want to avoid him. He's they're fairly dangerous pose. Royal Composer Bros. Sharp the Elder, rest in peace. They also are red and blue and kind of Mario and Luigi esque in a way, but they don't really serve any pur purpose other than being the Composer Bros. Who made the What's it called? Song? The song of... Uh, the sun song. The way you just got, so... It's cool, but also not that helpful, I guess. But maybe if we come back later on... Maybe we can get something out of them? Maybe. Anyway, let's go into this hole that's here, uh, in front of these flowers, so... Because down here is a single, small treasure chest. And we get... A Hylian Shield. Which we could buy at the bazaar in Castletown for 80 rupees, I believe. But here we can just get one for free. Now, if we equip that though... It works very differently to the Kokiri one, so... Whenever we use it, we actually just crouch like this and just block. Even if we're Z-targeting, that's all we can really do with it, so... We can kind of use it, but not at the moment. But we'll just keep it with us for the moment. And let's go take a look at a few other things while we're here. So, I'm going to need my empty bottle for a second. And I want to get... Pick up this rock, please. Pick up the rock, please. Okay. We can put a bug in a bottle by using a bottle when there are bugs on the ground. You can re release it by pressing C. This kind of bug prefers to live in small holes in the ground. So, if we find a small hole in the ground, which there is conveniently, right up here. Kind of. You see a small mound of soft soil here. If we drop this, just here. Whenever you also use a bug, it actually drops three out, so you can actually get one back. And just get infinite bugs, basically. So we have another one if we need it. But if we put, if they go into the hole there, in the soft patch of soil, might be wrong. No, I'm right. It, it can be uh, just two. But it drops out a gold skull for us to get. So we're gonna need to keep that in mind because reasons. But anyway, I think though now that is everything that we can actually do here. So let's head back into Kakariko, now that it's night time. Because we can actually do a few more things at night in Kakariko as well. Because night time is the time of, uh, gold sculptors. They just live, they thrive in the night, basically. Just because they don't appear during the day. Dark, narrow, scary, well of three features. Okay. 
But anyway, let's go up here because up here on these building bricks is a gold skulltula. If I can hit it, please. So let's get rid of that and get another gold skulltula token. And over here, on the window of this house, we'll just unleath it. Another gold skulltula. Get that. And then, if we roll into this tree at night... Oh, please. Without talking to the person there. Another gold skulltula. Ow. Another gold skulltula token. And if we go up this way... <laughs> there are so many. Uh, but if we go up this way and get out our slingshot... We can go over here and aim at the ladder part way up because there is another gold skull floor. Now we need to climb up this to get that. Do 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 do. Also, I think you can grab onto a ladder if you let go and then press up again or something like that. So let's grab that gold skull floor token, drop and grab. Yes, you can grab, so you can fall most of the way and be careful because you can grab back on to make sure you don't die. There's also a couple of houses here that we can't go into at the moment, so... But right over here is also another gold skulltula. So let's get that, and these pots always have uh, hearts in them, usually, so... But anyway, that's another gold skulltula token. Let's check how many we have now, because we've got quite a few. Have 11. And also shows how many pieces of hearts we have here. So we can see that we have two halves, or two quarters, so we now need two more quarters to get another heart container. But there we go. Now, I believe that's everything we need to do at night for Sculptors, actually. So let's move on and go into this building over here. Also, I just heard a cow. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I heard a cow. Yeah, I heard it again. This is the House of Sculptula. Which have these skulltula like things, but they don't look completely skulltula like. And there are quite a few of them around here. And they aren't attacking us. We can actually hit them, and we can get hurt by them, I think? Maybe? Maybe a specific one? There's also a person here because reasons uh, uh, that we're about to explain. This one in the middle looks particularly not skulltula like. Ah, it's fine. We look like this because of the spider's curse, but since you've destroyed 11 spiders of the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. Did though the kids who returned to normal give you any rewards? You should know that the only way to become very rich is to destroy as many spiders of this curse as possible. There are some tricks to finding them all. First of all, you have to hunt them at, hunt at night. Secondly, keep in mind that they love soft soil. Pay close attention to your surroundings. Please, we're counting on you. So, by getting the first 10 Skulltula tokens, this guy who was a Skulltula has returned to a human form. The curse has been broken! Thank you, here's a reward for you. Because I believe the story about these guys is that they were too greedy. And so they got cursed to become Skulltulas. But anyway, you got the ad an adult wallet. Adults are allowed to carry a lot of money. Now you can hold up to 200 rupees. So now we can hold up more rupees and not have to worry about losing money after 99 rupees. So there we go. And now I think I'm gonna switch it to day again. Come on. There we go. Also, if you move uh, the control stick or left stick while playing the ocarina, it sounds really weird. So let me just show that. Because if I hold it down, it sounds lower, I guess. If I hold it up, it sounds higher. And if I hold it left, it sounds like that. And if I hold it right, it sounds like that. Also, how did I do that? What? I was rotating the control stick. How did I play the sun song? 
<laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, but if you're doing that whenever there's um whenever you're trying to learn a song, it won't let you learn. It won't let you play the right note if you are moving the control stick at the same time. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.